Olmstead County is looking to upgrade the historic Graham Com Commons in Rochester to bring in a wider range of events and activities into the county for community members to enjoy. KIMT News 3's Brandon Cote is joining us live from Graham Commons with how the county plans to secure enough funding to enhance the park. Brandon. Yes, Ananda, I am currently standing right in between Crawford Hall and Floral Hall right here in this mini little plaza. And a part of the plan is to expand the plaza eastward to invite more community events here. And plus, a part of the plan is to restore and renovate some of its historic buildings here that have been over have been here for over a hundred years. But this is only going to be possible if it requires state funding this legislative session. I'm being told from the Olmstead County Board. Board of Commissioners that the demand for events here is increasing every year. Now, the building you are seeing on your screen right here is currently storing Olmsa County Sheriff squad cars, but the county is hoping to remodel it to convert it into an event space. The county is seeking almost $12.5 million to cover half the cost of rehabbing the historic buildings. According to Olmsa County, the number of events at the Commons has more than doubled from 2021 to last year. The county says it's continuing to deny hosting community events due to the limited space. Olmsted County Board Commissioner Sheila Kiskaden tells me the county wants, park, wants the park to become a regional hub for celebrations. We really want this to be an asset for the whole community to use and it's, it's very compatible with uh, what the downtown is trying to do with the Mayo Civic Center. You know, they mm. promote the sports tourism and they promote bringing conventions to the Civic Center and so on. She also tells me the county is planning to take down the grandstands due to how unstable it is, but the county is hoping to convert it into an outdoor performing area for concerts and other community festivals. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. All right. Thank you so much, Brandon. Now, if the county secures the state funding, construction could start as early as next year.